Hey guys, it's Stephanie from the blog thefarmhousemom.com and today we are going to be talking about grain mills. So if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I have been grinding my own um, wheat berries with my Nutrimal Harvest for a little over a year now. And we also will be looking at a grain mill that I received from the Every Grow Company. That mill can be used as a feed animal mill, and it also can be used to grind large quantities of flour. So I thought what I wanted to do is to compare the consistency of the grind. So my Nutrimal Harvest is a stone ground, and the Every Grow grain mill is a traditional metal grinder. So let's go ahead and start grinding. So we'll start with our Nutrimal first, and I am going to go ahead, get a little bowl here. And you know how we start our Nutrimal is we turn it on, we hear the stones grinding together, and then you back off, and then we'll turn until we hear them grinding, We have our flour ground with our Nutrimil Harvest, and we can see the consistency here. It's usually pretty consistent, a nice fluffy grind, perfect for baking. So let's go ahead and move over to our Every Grow mill, and we'll put some of our red winter wheat berries in there, and let's see the consistency in that mill. Here is my new Every Grow Feed Grain Mill. I'm going to go ahead and grind some wheat berries in it just because I want to compare the consistency of the grain with the Nutramill. The Nutramill is a, like I said before, a stone ground mill, and so you're not gonna to wanna to do any berries or any grains with real high oil. So I would not grind my sunflower seeds or anything like that in a stone ground. I opened up the Every Grow out of the box and it came already assembled. And then it also came with four additional sized screens. So for my feed, I am going to grind very fine and then I'm gonna to mix together with some water and molasses and make a little pellet with my KitchenAid. It already came assembled with the finest screen. I think this is gonna be a little too fine for the grain, but we are gonna use this for the flour. So what we'll go ahead and do is we'll place it on the bucket. I'll go ahead and put the locking mechanism on. We'll plug it in. And so we're just gonna turn it on and then dump the grain in. All right, let's go ahead and open it up. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in this bowl and we'll see how the consistency compares. So this is really quite interesting. So the Nutrimal Harvest is a soft, very soft, fluffy grind. And then when I feel the Every Grow, it's a little coarser. It's not quite as fine, but I can see how this would be very well suited for grain. I'm noticing about the Every Grow is it just seems to be a very consistent size. Like each each bit of grain, the grind feels very similar. So now I'm gonna go ahead and change the screen sifting size. And I think the easiest way to do that would just be to turn the Every Grow upside down and then remove these. So the Every Grow did come with its own tool, but my son was playing with it. And so I went ahead and got something else. All right, so this is what is left of the grain that didn't get ground. 
we'll go ahead and dump that. So this is what came off, this very fine. I think I'll go ahead and replace it with the one next up in size. And you can see the other three options available here. And I have brought in from the feed room some different grains that we're gonna grind next. So we have some beet pulp here. We've got some sunflower seed, some whole oats, and then also some barley. So I think we will just grind them one after the other, and then we'll be able to see the different consistencies. And they're gonna all be mixed together anyway in the feed, so we will just put them one after the other. So let's go ahead. So here you can see everything mixed together, what that fine grain would look like for your feed. Really pleased with the Every Grow Grain Mill as far as my plan to mix and pellet my own feed. I've done a lot of research on the digestibility and the palatability of ground grain compared to whole grain with goats. There are sources that say there's a 30% less nutrient availability when the grain is whole, and so 30% of that just passes right through the animal. But then also you don't want the grain to be too fine because they will eat it very, very quickly and it will digest very quickly in their rumen. There will be a higher chance to get acidosis in the rumen. So you can throw off that rumen balance, make them bloated and make them really sick. So while I would not feed the grain in this form, what we are going to do is add some hot molasses water. We're gonna mix it up and then we're gonna put it in our KitchenAid meat grinder and we are going to make our own pellets. I think what's so great about the Every Grow, just like what's so great about the Nutramil for home baking, with the Nutramil, you can have the highest nutrient level possible by grinding your own fresh grain and baking for you and your family. And then with the Every Grow, it is going to be so great for your animal feed. It's very fast. I was kind of surprised that it wasn't as loud as I expected it to be. It can do really large quantities, which is what you need for feed. I'm very pleased with the consistency of the product, even if we use different screens. I think what I would do differently is I would coarse grind the sunflower seeds and the beet pulp. I think it's gonna be a great addition on the farm. So stay tuned for next week's video where we grind our grain with our every grow and then we start making our own feed pellets for the goats thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed it